Welcome back to Then and Now. In this video, we're taking a look at where famous voice actors are now. Have you ever wondered who the voices behind your favorite cartoon characters are? The distinctive voices that bring the characters to life and give them their unique characteristics. From SpongeBob to Winnie the Pooh, Joker, and even Scooby-Doo. Today, we will be looking at some of the most famous voice actors and where they are now. But before we proceed, if you're not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button now and become a member of this YouTube family. I guarantee you will enjoy our content. Without wasting time any further, grab a drink and let's get into the video. Mel Blanc. Chances are that you have probably heard this man's voice more times than you have seen his face. What's up, Doc? Having any luck on those ducks? It's duck season, you know. He was known as the man of a thousand voices because of the various characters he voices. Believe me, the list is longer than your grocery shopping list. He had over a thousand screen credits, performing over 400 distinct character voices. The legendary specialist was known mainly for voicing Bugs Bunny from 1960 to 1989. Who, me? Oh, I know a lots of things. Two and two is four. Carson City is the capital of Nevada. Uh, George Washington was the first president. And also voiced characters like Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, Foghorn Leghorn, and a lot more. A little ice folly. I'm -a gonna do the figure eight. In January 1961, he was involved in a ghastly car accident that almost claimed his life at the Dead Man's Curve on Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles. His car had collided head-on with that of an 18-year-old college student, Arthur Rolston. Although Rolston survived minor injuries, Blanc was rushed to the hospital with a triple skull fracture and fractures on both legs and pelvis. Blanc was a chain smoker who smoked a pack a day but quit when he was diagnosed with emphysema at the age of 77. In May 1989, he was checked into a hospital after he came down with a bad cough. It was discovered that he had coronary heart disease, which made his health worse. Blanc passed away on July 10, 1989, at the age of 81, from coronary heart disease and emphysema. Kevin Michael Richardson. If there's any villain with a deep, dark voice that you hate so much, there's a high chance that that villain was played by Richardson. Batman said, oh. <laughs> He was the go-to guy for all villainous characters because of his incredibly deep and dark voice that makes the villain seem way more evil than they actually are. He is known for voicing the character of Joker in The Batman from 2004 to 2008. Just some laughing gas, Drag. Do tell me you're not an inmate for which he was nominated for two Daytime Emmy Awards. Before this, he played the role of Barney Rubble in The Flintstones on the Rocks. Hiya, Betty. Hiya, Mama. It's my homie I tried to tell you about. I build things and it keeps my number little fingers busy. He also voiced Trigon in Teen Titans. What strange vermin cower beneath my rocks? Bishop in Wolverine and the X-Men. Don't know. I've never seen him before. Don't be a hero, Domino, let's go! Nick Fury in the Superhero Squad, and Tyro in The Last Airbender. For the Earth Kingdom attack! Now 56, he lives with his wife Monica Richardson in Los Angeles, and is the stepfather of her two children from her previous marriage. Frank Welker. Welker is known mainly for his role as Fred Jones in the Scooby-Doo franchise, since it was created in 1969. Okay, Scooby. Go in and take a look around. We'll keep watch out here. But Rigger! No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> and Scooby-Doo himself since 2002. Yeah, but uh, I need a Scooby snack. Maybe two? Yeah, yeah. three. <laughs> he has also voiced several other characters, such as Megatron, Galvatron, and Soundwave in Transformers. I am Megatron, leader of the Decepticons. I belong to nobody! Curious George in Curious George, and even Garfield on The Garfield Show. He also played the role of Azrael in The Smurfs, and was the only original actor from the original Scooby-Doo series in the CGI animated film Scoob. In 2016, he was celebrated with an Emmy Award for his lifetime achievement. He has also appeared in several movies like The Trouble with Girls, now You See Him, Now You Don't, and several others. 
He is also a stand-up comedian and has performed on an episode of the TV show Keep On Cruisin'. He's now 74 years old. Jim Cummings After Mel Blanc, Jim Cummings is the next man of a thousand voices. Having voiced over 400 characters, including Winnie the Pooh, Oh yes, time for my stoutness exercise. Tasmanian Devil, and Tigger. There's plenty of others I haven't even asked yet. <laughs> he also provided the voice of Ed the Hyena and the voice of Scar for a short while in the Lion King franchise. <laughs> he is also a singer and recorded part of the song Be Prepared in Lion King and also sang in Pocahontas. He was married to Stephanie Cummings, and together they had two daughters until they divorced in 2011. In 2019, Cummings made the news after Stephanie stated that he had engaged in physical, sexual, and emotional abuse, including but not limited to death threats, rape, and various sexually deviant behavior forced upon her without her consent. She even accused him of abusing the family dog. Cummings, however, denied all allegations and accused her of extortion. He's now 68. Rob Paulson. Pinky and the Brain has one of the catchiest theme tunes in cartoon history, and it's difficult to not sing along when the thought of this iconic cartoon pops in your head. United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru. United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru. I bet you didn't know that the man behind the iconic voice of the smartest cartoon mouse in the world is the highly celebrated Rob Paulson. Also Pinky from Pinky and the Brain. He even won a Daytime Emmy Award for the role. Paulson also voiced Raphael and Donatello in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 1987 and 2012. Donatello sounds a lot like me, only a bit nerdier. Don't tell anybody. Since then, he has voiced several other roles, including Archie the Raccoon in Penguins of Madagascar. Boris, your booty is barely shaking. <laughs> Watch. And Auto Robots Air Raid, Chase, Haywire, Fastlane, and Slingshot in the Transformers. He is currently married to his second wife, Parrish Todd, and together they have a son. In 2016, he was diagnosed with throat cancer, but the cancer is now in remission after he underwent treatment. The voice actor is now 64 years old. Tom Kenny. We all know by now that the secret of the Krusty Krab's success is not the ultra-secret Krabby Patty recipe, but the role that SpongeBob plays in the entire establishment. Hey, I'm Tom Kenny, voice actor in animation, um, known for doing SpongeBob SquarePants. But there wouldn't be any SpongeBob without Tom Kenny, who has provided the voice of the Yellow Sponge since its inception. He also voiced the Ice King and was the narrating voice in the Powerpuff Girls. What is even more awesome is that his wife, Jill Talley, plays Karen on the SpongeBob SquarePants franchise too. He won the Annie Award twice for his work on SpongeBob SquarePants and Adventure Time. He has also won the Daytime Emmy Award twice for his work on SpongeBob SquarePants. He currently lives in Studio City in California with his wife and two children. There you have it, famous voice actors then and now. And that ends our video for today. Let us know what you think in the comments section below, and drop a like on this video. Who was your favorite voice actor? Tell us in the comments below. For more videos like this, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. See you in the next video.